A equals 20, B equals 12, C equals 28. Here we go. Here we use law of cosines. I go out law of cosines. I have to choose one of these to be my angle. Doesn't matter which one I choose. No. Which one are we going to choose this time? Hold on. I can do this. No, I can't. What the heck happened back there? Mr. 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 Dietz, are you sitting next to Mr. Baldwin? All right, Mr. Dietz. What what angle am I going to do? I can solve for any one I want to. A. So we're going to solve for angle A. Okay, so if I solve for angle A, I've got to use the A form of this, which means I'm going to go A squared equals B squared plus C squared minus 2BC cosine of A. Boom. Pausing there. If I'm solving for the angle, the angle goes here. The also that becomes A squared over here. The other two sides make up all the pieces. Right? So if I'm doing A squared, then this is going to be B squared plus C squared minus 2BC cosine A. This matches with this. The rest of them are the other two sides. So far so good? All right, let's roll on. A squared is 20, so I go 20 squared equals 12 squared plus 28 squared minus 2 times 12 times 28 times cosine of A. Notice what I'm solving for now. Cosine of A, so I'm solving for angle A, correct? Not always going to be that way. Sometimes you're going to be solving for a side that's over here. So 20 squared, I think that's 400. 12 squared is 144. 28 squared. Ah. 784. What? 784. Okay. I said 784. Good. 74. Good. Good smart. Minus 2 times 12 times 28. 672. Cosine of A. All right. Yes, sir. What if they give you the angle? Are you going to solve If they give you the angle, you put the angle here, and then whatever letter that is, that's what's going here, right? The form is always going to be whatever letter's here is going to match there. And then the other two sides are going to populate this. What do you mean match? Okay, if this is angle A, this is going to be side A. If this is angle B, that's got to be side B. Those got to match. And then the other other sides will populate the rest of this. It's always going to be the other two sides squared minus two times the other two sides. Okay. All right, doing some math. I get 400 equals, combining like terms, 8, 2, 1 gives me 9, 28. Is that right? And I'm going to pause here. For reasons that escape me, because you've been through like a zillion years of algebra now, the next step, which students sometimes do, is they subtract these two. Why can't I? That's multiplied. You have to do that first, and you don't know how to do that. So don't do that. It's not going to work. So we're going to subtract this across first, right? So you think of 528 equals negative 672 cosine of A. Divide that across, and I get, I got a bad calculator. No. Oh, I have a bad calculator. Oh, bell's ringing. So I have 528 divided by 672, and I get a lovely 0 0.78571 equals cosine of A. How do you get rid of cosine? Arc cosine. So I go arc cosine. And I get 38.2 degrees. Now, for reasons I will not explain, your calculator is not lying to you in a way you care about now. <laughs> it may not be telling the truth, but it's not lying to you in a way you care about yet. So just trust your calculator is telling you the truth. There's not two solutions. So are so good? That's what I got. Now, that's a lot of work. To get one angle. Once I have the angle, though, what can I do now? I go law sine. And by the way, it's not going to be ambiguous, so that's cool. Okay. So 
right? So just law of sines, law of sines, get the last two sides of that. Make sense? Can do that. Now for the day, it's going to excite you the most. Are you ready? The exciting announcement? Quiz next time! Yeah! Yeah! Tuesday quiz next time. Sweet plot for everybody. Quiz next time, we're done! What do I hope? I have to know every word you give you. Yes! <laughs> it's like 10,000. It's like Sorry. seven. <laughs> Actually, it's literally seven. What are you like? It's seven. What? No card? What do you need a card for? To write the answer. I get truth be told, I will be giving you. I won't give you a sign, cosine, ten. You guys know those. Wait, you know those I'm not going to give you. I'm not going to give you sign, cosine, ten. Right? Okay. You outside that are. Okay. You have to know that. I am not going to give you the law of signs. You should know that one. I will give you the formula for the law of cosines. Although I really shouldn't because that's one that's actually fairly useful. That's why Blaze remembered it when you faced that problem. So you're but I'll beat that into you later. Yes? Yes. Uh, you mainly use our calculator for the quiz, too. No, the quiz you're going to calculate the whole entire time. I would alert you to the fact that if you didn't need a calculator for that problem, you should really look at that and see if you really needed a calculator for that. But I'm not, I don't. It takes too long to do the calculator, non calculator part for a quiz. Um, and, and if you're using the wrong functions on the quiz, and then I hit you with it on the test, that's, that's just gravy. You know, for example, I think on the quiz it's going to say, remember those ones where I gave you a, a, uh, the arc, sorry, the sine of the arc tangent of two thirds? You're like, oh god, I do remember that now. Okay, you had to draw the triangle. You just put in a calculator, you're going to get a decimal approximation. I'm going to write in the quiz, I'm going to say, be exact. So theoretically, you should be able to just go, oh, that's right, I got to be exact, so I can just do it rather than doing a whole drawing. Yes? More hints, please. That's the only one I plan on giving you. This is the arc. That's right, the box cosine. I think that's the only one. If anything else should I give you guys? That's it. If you need no sine cosine tangent, you're going to die this year. And then the law of sines, I think it kind of should know for future reference. That appears in SAT test a lot. They expect you to know it. We did a lot. They expect you to know it like 10 years ago. There will be ambiguous case problems on there. I'm not going to know. You're going to presume. Now, how are you going to tell? How are you going to tell? If when you go to do the arc sign, you will go, wait, calculate y to be an arc sign. Right? When you go to hit the arc sign, listen, every time you hit the arc sign button in your whole entire life, it has lied to you every single time. Because it cannot give you the right answer. It can't, it's not able to. So when you go arc sign and you're getting ready to write down that angle, I want you to think, oh gosh, I need to 180 minus that and get the second one down right now before I mess this up bad. Because that's what you do with, with that's, you know it's going to align you, right? So you know it's going to be two angles, so immediately write right down that. And then go solve it from the rest of the way. Does that make sense? The moment you do arc sign of an angle, arc sign is that. You subtract 180. You do 180 minus to get to the second one. Two seconds. To get your second angle, right? You, get your first angle. you always have two angles, right? But that's the biggest case of all the time. So you're right? just always going to have to check. Whenever, whenever you do arc side, assume the calculator lied to you, write down two solutions. The one that solution you get, and then 180 minus solution you get. And then go from there. If you if you never have to do the arc side, then you don't have to worry about it. Okay. If you. So if you never come across the arc side, you just go to the like normal, you'll never know that that one isn't the biggest case, right? The biggest case happens when you have to use the arc side button. That's what it happens. Yes, ma'am. So if you use the law of cosines, you'll have Do not use the law of cosines unless you've tried the law of sines first, including the ambiguous case. The reason for that is there is an ambiguous case for the law of cosines. It is very, very hard to deal with. If you use the law of sines, you will trigger it and you'll be able to take care of it. If you run across a video case with a lot of cosines, I, there's a teacher down in the district that still teaches that video case with a lot of cosines. Okay? He hands out eight pieces of paper, and each one has if this happens, this is what you must do. If this happens, this is what you must do. 
If this happens, this is what you must do. It's ridiculous. And it's not necessary because if you do a lot of science first, you'll run across a ambiguous case before you ever get to the law of cosine. Right? You'll never know. If you cannot use law of sine, if you try law of sine and go, crud, I have nothing that matches up, then you use the law of cosine. Right? When you, when, it, when you can't do an A over A, you can't do a B over B, if you can't get one to match up, then you have one choice, and that's to use a lot of cosine, then you're legal, you have to worry about ambiguous, because it's not the ambiguous case when you do that. Guaranteed work for you. So we're finishing 178. So finish 17 and 18. 167. 167. There's only seven parts of the universe. Now we're all over the place. Depends on the magic sequence coming. Chapter 2. No, no, no. Chapter 4 has 18 words. 18 words. Okay, that'll be the 10,000 words you check. This is like half of that. It does. I'm passing the two of those. I take a quiz, we'll do those. Okay. You guys know, you officially know everything. I know if I'm going to put We're there. Oh, also, by the way, if you're one of people get done with your quiz early, you want people get done with your quiz early, and you're you're restless. Bring something to do, please. Other people are taking their quiz, and I really don't have much patience for you making a lot of noise. So all the people are taking their quiz. And the first couple of times, I'm going to be really rude about it. All their hearing. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. If you get done early on the test, bring something to do. Okay. But, okay, so if you get done early, okay, all right, bring something to do. Because on the first quiz in particular, it's very important that I nail somebody. I'm going to try to nail somebody in this room over the fact they're talking. The nailing is a... Zero on the quiz, which is less painful than a zero on the test, right? So it's my my best interest to get you right now and make it serious that hey, we are quiet to take quiz, we are quiet to take test. That's the rule, that's the way it's going to be. Okay, so I'm going to try to enforce that rule, so don't be the one that gets caught. And then probably don't get caught. You know, I swear we get good. Because again, it, is, it does hurt other people's grades when you talk to each other. Take the lad that's very back over your chest. So, what do you guys think? Just look at him. Does he look like a guy with a cell phone? Yeah. 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 Last, 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 last year, my, my quest was to get four cell phones being used during class time. To get four, one person four times with a cell phone. The reason for that is because they theoretically are going to lock in a safe for six months. Oh, I want to see Alex. that happen. Do it to Alex. I really, really want to see that happen. I want to see if they have the guts to do it. So I am willing. I'm willing to catch you four times just to see what happens. You may not be willing for the results. So you may not want to be caught. Because I think I, I really want to see. Are they really going to lock up the cell phone for six months? Are they really? I got it. They didn't take away your cell phone. Yeah. That's awesome. Also, don't take away your cell phone when you quit your test. That's not a bad cheat. I will let that. I will. That last year, I let it go, and I'm still angry. So, that's what happened. Hi. Have a good weekend. Make some thoughts. Practice some law of cosines. We'll come back together, and we'll take a quiz. Thank you, Mr. Or the test on time, I think want to get Somebody can help with the Okay, course change. Yeah, well, no, I just moving Drake to six periods. Because I'm going to get six periods. How do I start this? Actually, you don't want to be part of that. Oh, and also, I mean, like right after physics. Yeah. It'll be right after physics. Your brain will be fried. What are you trying to do to yourself? What possibly could. Oh, you're switching from Spanish yeah. to weights. Yep. Why are you doing Spanish to weights? Temporary. I don't need it for eight periods. Uh, six period welding.